in most buildings in india the water has to be pumped from the ground to the tank at the top but the guards always remember to switch on the motor but they always forget to switch it off and the water keeps overflowing for sometimes for 10 minutes or to an hour in my building it was overflowing for many hours so i got really pissed off so i thought let's try and make something that we can easily put on the overflow pipe of these tanks which sends a signal to the motor and switches it off when it starts overflowing and the other thing that the system could do is to switch on the motor at a scheduled time every morning say 9 o'clock and then it automatically will switch off once it starts overflowing so our electronics engineer shramik put together all the electronics and then we put together two products based on the system so first shramik will explain how all the electronics were done hi i'm shramik and i'll explain the electronics The 5 volt from the USB is used to power the VMOS D1. The 5 volt from the VMOS D1 is used to power the relay. The two control pins D4 and D2 are connected to the control pin IN1 and IN2 of the relay. The neutral and the ground are common for both the sockets. The hot wire from the main are connected to the normally open terminal of the two relay. The common terminals of the two relay are connected to the two hot terminals of the socket. Normally, the relay is in open mode. That is, there is no connection between the normally open terminal and the common terminal. The VMOS D1 is powered using a 5 volt adapter. The water sensor is powered from the 3.3 volt pin of the VMOS. The output of the water sensor is an analog output. Thus, it is connected to the A0 pin of the VMOS. First, we switch on the motor from the current dashboard which sends a signal to the VMOS to switch on the relay. Now, when the water overflows and comes in contact with the sensor and the gauge value crosses 80, it sends a trigger to the receiver VMOS. This then switches off the relay and thus turns off the motor.